Uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins joins us now on the Jeff Blair Show. Ryan, thanks so much for doing this. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, man, I mean, what what an off season for your for your organization. Have you guys have you guys had a chance to as a group to to get together and just kind of I was I was going to say sort things out, but just yeah, you, you know, kind of realize the expectations on you this year and and you know how how much you're going to have to do. Um, well, I mean, I think that'll come when we get to camp. Uh, everybody will get together, obviously, then. But um, we've had expectations on us in the past um, just with the way that we've drafted and uh, the way that our team's kind of shaped up to look. And uh, I know uh, this year there's an extra little buzz around the city and uh, a lot of a lot of good things happened this summer for us. And uh, we're all excited to get back at it. And um, I think uh, this is a year where we can make a – make a big change with uh with our play and uh just our consistency of effort and um i think if we uh just do that then we're going to be a a good team and a competitive team in this league i mean we've heard i mean you know look ryan we this team has been we look at the talent in this team and a lot of us who aren't close to the situation a lot of us who don't don't follow the oilers on a day-to-day basis i mean we just look at it and we we shake our head when we look at the just the, the combination of talent uh the level of talent on that roster, how convinced are you that it's going to be different this time? You know, beyond the usual hope of the preseason, and you know, now you have Connor McDavid, and there's some other new players coming as well. You've got a new coach, but what tells you in your gut that it might be different? Um, you know what? I think it's just it's just a feeling around the team, and I know I've talked to a few guys, and we all kind of have the same feeling. And um, I mean, in the past years, uh, there was obviously optimism as well, but I mean, this year does feel a little bit different. Um, added some key pieces. We got, uh, I mean, it's, um, uh, we got Todd coming in, who's going to be great for us. He has, uh, obviously a lot of experience in the league and, um, he's, he's had a, he's coached a great team in San Jose for a long time now. So, um, having him coming in, I think is going to make a huge difference to us. He's going to be a big, uh, big reason why um if we do have success he's going to be a big reason why that happens and uh we look forward to getting it going here have you had a chance to talk to todd at length uh, i've talked to him a little bit um just over the phone so far haven't uh haven't met him yet but um from what i've heard i've heard all positive things and um everybody in san jose that i've talked to uh, i got a couple of buddies there that uh really loved playing for him uh say he handles everything really well uh from practices to uh his in-game systems and stuff so uh yeah it's uh it's all positive right now and um look forward to meeting him and uh, i mean it, you kind of get to know the way uh every coach kind of has their own way of doing things so uh looking forward to seeing how he does things uh during camp now you've been in the NHL for a couple of years now. Is your off-season routine different than it was uh, after your first year? Let's say um, the past two summers have been good for me, um, and the fact that I've been able to actually uh, get a full off-season of training and uh, and that kind of thing in, and uh, no injuries. I mean, this year I had my foot, but for the most part, I could do almost all training stuff. So um, before that, after my first year, after my second year, even. Um, is a little is a little tough um, as far as as training um, just because of my shoulder uh, in this summer and the summer before have been really good for me in that sense so um, other than that don't change too much stuff uh, I like to just take it easy when I'm when I'm out there uh, skate a little bit more a little bit earlier this year and uh, change that up a little bit but other than that uh, mostly the same routine in the summer now the uh, World Cup of Hockey news conference, is, uh, media event, whatever you want to call it, is uh, going to be held this afternoon. You are very much a candidate for, uh, I would think, the North American, the quote unquote young guns team. H- how strange would that be to you to be playing on a team? Well, you playing a team full of young guys, anyhow, so it's probably not going to be that much different. But with you know, with some other guys, with with American players as well as Canadian players, how how, how different is that going to be? Do you think? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's definitely a different concept. I think it's a really cool way of doing things. I mean, uh, uh, you're not used to going into an international competition and then start, you start playing with uh, the Americans. But once you get, um, obviously, with the pro pro teams, you play from guys all over, uh, mm-hmm. all over the world. So 
I think once once we kind of get together, uh, start skating, start practicing, I don't think uh, it'll feel any different than any other tournament or any other uh, team that you're part of. And I think the one weird thing uh, will be going up against Team Canada for us, uh, the Canadians and obviously the Americans, same thing. Um, you, you're not used to going up and playing against uh, the Maple Leaf. You're used to having that on your crest. So that'll be uh, the strange thing, but... Uh, it's something that you just got to get over pretty quick and go out there and realize they're uh, they're coming for you and you got to play as w- well as you can. I would think it would be very strange to hear the national anthem, to hear O Canada not being a Canadian jersey. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's <laughs> At an international event. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, obviously the anthem will be playing for us as well, I guess. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it'll, uh, yeah it'll, be, it'll be interesting. Like I said, my first time doing something like that, but it is a good way of... Uh, um, having some of the best younger players uh, in well in North America, I guess, uh, still competing at that high level, and um, I mean it should be a good team, and it should be a competitive team, and um, it should be a fun tournament. Ryan, we appreciate you doing this today. Thanks so much. All right, thanks for having me, guys.